Hi everybody, this is Bonnie and I'm just making this quick little video on the fly sort of to show you how to uh, make uh, fun items of melted felt and these can be sewn onto your projects or glued onto your projects. Just about anything that you would normally do with felt and more you could do with this. Um, first of all I want to tell you that the, the felt is the acrylic kind, a lot of it is recycled plastics and so on. So it's very dangerous and never, ever, ever, ever promise me <laughs> that you will never do melting felt without a proper mask. And the proper mask I use is a NIOSH approved 3M6001 mask. Uh, I found it at a store called Menards. It's kind of a hardware store in Minnesota, but I know that places like Home Depot and Lowe's also carry these. This mask fits tightly over your mouth and nose, and you strap it on and then do a check to make sure you can't breathe or get any air from the surrounding area. You're only getting air through the filters on the sides. So what I do is I strap it on so my face would be back here and then I put my hands over the filters to check whether or not I can breathe with uh, out leakage. If I can tell there's a little e leakage coming out say around here on the edge on, by my eyes or by my mouth or anything, then I have to readjust it. But if there's no air going in or anything that you can feel going out when you're breathing, then you're good to go. By the way, these little filters, um, you have to buy separately, I think. Well, you can buy them separately to replace your old ones. Every now and then, depending on how much you're going to use them, you do need to replace them. And how old they are is also a factor, so read the package. These come, <coughs> excuse me, these are sold near the masks themselves. Okay, so we have some felt here. And first I want to show you <coughs> this stuff. It's really thick, but it is acrylic or recycled felt. You can buy this uh, like at Joann's by the yard. The thicker it is though, <coughs> excuse me, the thicker it is, the uh, longer it takes to melt. Here's some of the felt that you can get um, just by the square in the craft departments, like 25 or I don't know, maybe now it's 50 cents a square. The, quite thin, but very effective for what we're doing here. I've put it in a hoop because I want the, the surface that I'm going to be melting to be fairly um, taut. Now this hoop is sort of wired together. I don't know if you can tell here with a little... Uh, anyway, I'm just going to leave that. But um, the, the purpose of this is to hold the felt taut so that it doesn't curl up on you. If you were to heat this, say this corner here, it would curl up. And depending on what you want your project to look like, sometimes you want that curl or that ruffly effect in your um, projects. And you want that felt. To do that. So that would be a heated without being in a hoop. And for this one I'm going to try that particular metal shape, see if we can get a flower out of it. And I'm going to try this butterfly. Now you have to be careful, first of all you don't want to put something on here that you're going to heat up and it's going to burst into flame. So like a paper template isn't a good idea or a stencil that's made out of plastic it might just melt um, and the other thing is you want to have something that has fairly good size holes in it to, um, so that the pattern doesn't disappear I tried this a long time ago and while I love the design it just didn't show up because there were, weren't enough lines in between the spaces to make an effective design once all the holes showed up from melting. So I tend to find big pieces. Um, this is another one that works pretty well um, for the outside shape. It's a wooden one, but for the inside shape, 
um, it doesn't work real well on these real skinny areas. So you have to be willing to be flexible on what you get or just hunt for those with the bigger holes in them or design areas that are cut out. Another thing you can do is this. So I've just got a really old frame that I've used, I don't know for what, but I've got this old frame and I just put a piece of felt on the hole, the opening of it, and then I tacked it around the sides. You could staple it closed or whatever you want. Um, and then I'm just going to try, I think I'll put it this way actually. I'm going to try the shape of this uh, palm tree. And I think we got this as part of a set with a napkin holder. I think it flopped down on the napkins like that or something. Anyway, I'm going to put it down this way. So if I did it this way, it might still work, but you see how there's so much space in there? The heat can go in all funny directions underneath this, and you might not get as clear of a shape of your palm tree as if you have it fairly tight to the um, felt. There's one more thing I want to show you, and that's this. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Um, I've stitched this urchin shape, and one really cool thing, I suppose it's two things, that you can do with felt is you can stitch it with cotton thread, because cotton won't burn as easily as a polyester or synthetic, and do make your design first, and then put it have it on a piece of paper that you can fit into a frame or a hoop and then melt it. And then when you do, the places that you have stitched stay and the places you heated without thread sort of disappear on you. And you can control a little bit how which areas get really um, melted away and which don't. It's fun to watch it just kind of melt away. I'll show you that in a minute. Then when you're done, you can just pull it from the edge. I always try to get a good line of heat around the outside edge here so it's very thin and fragile. <clears throat> Sometimes it even just falls away when I'm heating. But then you can just pull it with your fingers and you get these cool edges. So I'll get myself geared up and I will take this outside and show you what I'm doing. Uh, I should tell you about this one last thing. This is a heat tool. It's an embossing gun. Don't use the kind that's a an embossing, you know, a heat tool like a construction one. They're much, much too powerful. And you will find that when you use this, the heat rises so it's really effective to heat from underneath but not totally necessary. You might also heat from t on top but underneath works because the heat will rise. Um, you might also want to keep in mind that the edges of what you're holding get really hot uh, if you're close to the heat gun so watch out for those fingers. And there's one more tool that I don't know where it is, but I do use it sometimes, and that's a little soldering gun. I just use the tip of the soldering gun, which is just like a, a big, thick needle, a nail kind of thing. And then I can poke holes in that or draw lines in the felt with that when it's heated up. So that's kind of a fun tool also. But again, wear your mask, be careful. All right, I'm going to stop the video, go outside. You always, always, always should be outside when you're doing this. I'll be out on my patio, and I will be um, just melting these two pieces, and we'll see what we get.
Okay, so here we are. I let the uh, materials dissipate their fumes and we're ready for the big reveal. Drum roll. Da, 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 da. First of all, you can tell that I've got some very dark blue areas here and that's because it's kind of gotten too hot. It kind of, kind of burned. But anyway, here we go. Here's what the shape looks like. So that's a pretty good one. It's pretty solid. You can really tell what it is. You could certainly emboss that. I mean, uh, you could uh, elaborate on that shape with a nice bit of stitching. And I'm going to just pop this off. I think I can pop it off. And show you. How easy it is. To rip the edges off. I got that one in too hard. Um, let me also say that the the time you saw me melting was real time. I didn't edit that at all so that'll give you an idea of how long it takes and again it's depending on how thin your um, felt is, how much heat you're applying and so on. Now this part probably won't pull apart because it's it's still kind of thick but I can snip that with the scissors to get that out. And some of these are bigger than others. And this is how I did the trees in um, one of the pictures I put on with the moon. And I had that on Facebook. This, um, the only difference was I did do some stitching rather than using a a shape to make the, the shape of the trees. Anyway, so that's how that goes. The other side is not as dark. And by the way, this side is smooth and the side that was heated, especially where the heat marks are here on the edges, is kind of rough. But you can use either side you want. Okay, now for this one, <laughs> Here's a butterfly, kind of shows up. Maybe once I get the edges torn away, it'll be better. And the flower shows up too, except here it was overheated. I overheated it, so this burned away or dissolved, whatever you want to call it. But pulling away the edges of the butterfly is fun. Sometimes I just let it be exactly the way it rips apart. And then you see how I'm holding on to the piece though? Because I don't want any of this to rip out. If it did, no big deal, I guess. But I think I'll take that off of there. Oh, that kind of looks like antenna, doesn't it? All right, and then we'll pull out the flower. See, this part just came apart by itself, well, with a little tug from me. So here's what I've got of the flower. Could be interesting, but this could also be interesting. Look, at doesn't that look like fire, or it looks like um, bushes, or this could be overhanging trees. Or you could cut it like this, um, just cut the edges off and you'd have some grasses. If you um, take a look at a few of my pieces on my website, you'll see that I've got some done just like this. Um, not with yellow, but you'll, you'll recognize the shapes. So that's about it. I hope you have fun and um, there's lots more to do with melted felt if I have enough uh, encouragement and excitement about this. I might make a fuller video or a little class on how to do it. Promise me you're going to use that mask. They're I think less than $30 and it could save your life. You don't want to have any problems. Okay, have fun. Bye.